let's get into what I read in the month of June. The first book that I read in the month of June was The Felt Sword by Miles Cameron. This is the second book in the Trader Sun cycle. We follow immediately on after the events of the first book following uh, the Red Knight and his company of mercenaries as they travel to the Empire of Polis to help Princess Irene after her father is kidnapped. I did not like this book. <laughs> I did not like it. I gave it a one star rating on Goodreads. I thought there was so much page filler. It's a bad way to start June. Uh, the second book that I read though I did happen to like and that was Silverthorn by Raymond E. Feist. This is the second book in the Riffle saga. You follow two side characters from what I think is the main story. Um, namely Jimmy the Hand and Prince Arutha after Jimmy uh, upsets an assassination attempt on Arutha and as a result they uncover this um, giant plot not only against the, the, the kingdom of Mekemia but against the fucking universe because gods. <laughs> Like I said before, I do feel like this is more of like a side story, obviously because it's so small compared to the actual bulk of the actual Riffle saga. This book is not namely about the Riffle. This is kind of like events that happen after the Riffle. Uh, I still really enjoyed it. I enjoyed seeing old characters again, uh, especially the main characters and seeing how they were doing and how they'd kind of, you know, grown up. And it was awesome to see Jimmy the Hand and Prince of Ruth again because they were just fucking awesome in, in the previous books. And they were so funny. Like, I, 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 you didn't really see, like, they, they met, they had um, interaction in the, in the previous books, but you didn't see them, like, stuck together for a long period of time. And they're so funny. They're crack up. I really liked this and I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was The Art of Hunting by Alan Campbell. This is the second book in the Gravedigger Chronicles. Loving the series, obviously, this month. Um, we follow Eanthan Granger again, like in the first book, and, you know, along with Ethan Maskeline and uh, a few others whom I can't name because if I name them then I will give away the ending of the first book. And just like with that, I can't really talk much about the plot of this book because it just gives way too much away of what happened in the first one. But I will say that this book was really true to its characters. I enjoyed that even though there was a uh, really cliche romance that I really didn't like happen in this book I still feel like both individual characters still remain true to themselves and there was no like like I guess if you were really really picky you could say that they totally wiped themselves out for a little bit and then came back at the end but me personally I think that they just kind of stayed themselves throughout the whole because I st again I don't want to give spoilers. Fucking read the book if you want to know what I'm vaguely talking about. <laughs> Definitely felt as though it was setting up the third book, but that's fine because the characters in this were just so fucking busy. You didn't even have time to realize that nothing had actually happened in in the overall plot, but a lot happened. They did a lot. They traveled everywhere. They learned a lot of things. They met a lot of people. So that was still good. It wasn't as atmospheric as the first book, obviously, because the first book is just the, it's the first book, bruh. A lot of the time, it's the best. <laughs> it was still really, really immersive, which was cool. Um, and I like the incorporation of dragons and gods in this one because dragons and gods, I mean, come on. I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads. The last two books that I read this month were The Enemy and The Dead by Charlie Higson, the first two books in the Enemy series. Uh, this series is based in modern-ish London about four or five years ago now, I think. It was modern when it came out. <laughs> based in London after an epidemic wipes out nearly everyone over the age of 14, uh, those that survive or those that don't die by the disease suddenly develop a craving for the flesh of children. So obviously in these you follow a plethora of characters under the age of 14 as they try to navigate survival in this new world. And what I think is really awesome and has probably happened a lot in zombies uh, zombie books but because I rarely read the same kind of thing twice I don't really know that much about other zombie books but one thing that I like about this is that you get a few chapters from different zombies which is really awesome and very atmospheric so that's cool. I started reading this four or five years ago and I was really afraid rereading this now that I'm older that I wasn't gonna like it or I wasn't gonna relate to it as much as I did or it wasn't going to be as cool as it had been when I was younger because obviously four or five years there's been a lot of books in between that and a lot of different writing styles and genres and storylines and characters and I was just really afraid that I wouldn't like it but even though my perspective is different um, 
I still enjoy this as much as I enjoyed it the first time I read it and I can't wait to finally fucking finish it. The writing feels very simplistic, I remember being so confused by it because I was a dumb shit as a kid, but reading it as an adult now, very simplistic and I think that was, I think that's really good because it, um, it entices a younger audience and you know it's easier for them to read and for older audiences I think it provides like the opportunity to have your own interpretation of the story. You can read between the lines. Uh, I'm currently about a third of the way through the third book in the anime series The Fear by Charlie Hugson and if you haven't noticed I am doing a series marathon so I'll be reading the next four books. That includes The Sacrifice, The Fallen, The Hunted and The End. All by Charlie Hugson. So I have managed to get through these super duper quickly so I have planned to start reading His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman and that should see me through all of July. Okay, bye bye. Fuck me, I cannot wait to get to the end of this series.